2014 marks the 50th anniversary of two of America's most iconic cutting-edge vehicles. The unexpected, the new Ford Mustang. And another vehicle that was hardly sleek or stylish. This other vehicle did not have a bold, sexy name. It was a stubby submersible called Alvin. Scientists and engineers at Woods Hole Oceanographic Institution named it after Al Vine, the scientist who led the effort to build it. Alvin wasn't built for either speed or comfort. It was built for depth. We choose to go to the moon in this decade and do the other things, not because they are easy, but because they are hard. Three years after President John F. Kennedy committed the nation to the goal of landing a man on the moon, and five years before we did so, Alvin was constructed with the goal of taking people to the bottom of the ocean to conduct research. Three people at a time in a six-foot diameter sphere. The original model was built by a former engineering division of General Mills, the company that also gave us Cheerios. Owned by the Navy and operated by Woods Hole Oceanographic Institution, Alvin was officially commissioned on June 5, 1964. One of its first missions in 1966 was to locate and recover a hydrogen bomb that had accidentally fallen into the Mediterranean Sea. Since then, Alvin has become an icon for exploration and a symbol of American ingenuity. It gave scientists their first views of the deep sea floor. It revealed terrain that scientists had never imagined and forever changed their understanding of Earth's geology. Alvin also explored lush communities of life on the seafloor, which nobody had thought possible. This life thrived without sunlight, sustained by energy from chemicals coming from beneath the seafloor. These ecosystems represent one of the most profound scientific discoveries of the 20th century. They revolutionized our understanding of where and how life can exist on Earth and redefined our search for life on other planets. Alvin brought us the first haunting images of the world's most famous shipwreck, Titanic. It also revealed how deep sea life was affected by the Deepwater Horizon oil spill. In 2014, Alvin completed the most extensive upgrade in its history, funded largely by the National Science Foundation. It returned to service with enhanced capabilities and with a new titanium sphere that extends its depth and eventually will allow it to reach 98% of the sea floor. For 50 years, Alvin has been a workhorse for scientists. It has carried some 2,800 unique Alvinauts in more than 4,700 dives. Alvin discovered hundreds of previously unknown species. It has spawned the development of new deep sea vehicles. It has thrilled school children around the world and continues to inspire new generations of scientists, engineers, and explorers to venture into Earth's remaining frontier and bring back new knowledge about our planet. Happy 50th birthday, Alvin. Long may you run. to do in stormy weather.